Hello guys and welcome back on the channel. Today I have found only for you a new high win rate strategy with 90% win rate. And this strategy uses only three indicators. So they are MACD, Stochastic and RSI. The strategy so is from TraderDNA. I will leave the link of this video in the description so you can check it for the basic conditions. And this strategy at a first sight seems really profitable and with such a high win rate uh, you can make only profit uh, as you can see but uh, it will be true it will um, this average such as rate uh, will um, will be proved by testing the strategy on years of data let's find out together so but before we start i remember you that if you want to know more about my software you want to backtest your strategy or you want more info about it write me an email that i will leave in the description but now Let's talk about this strategy. I will backtest it on these forex symbols and on the 30 minute time frame. So let's see how it performs on the train and the test data set with the default conditions. As you can see, the average such a straight, it's not quite even near to the average such a straight he showed here. So as you can see, it doesn't perform well at all. It almost break even and um, what I decided to do, I decided that uh, uh, there must be some changes to do to the code because there were also a low number of trades and it would be it would have been difficult to make a statistical analysis on it. So I will show you the con new conditions of the strategy, taking inspiration from the video he made. So let me show you the code I wrote. In this new strategy made by me, um, there are only two conditions. The two conditions are that you have to check in the last two candles before the position is opened. Basically, there must be a bull for buy, a bullish MACD crossover and a bullish stochastic crossover. And for sell, a bearish stochastic crossover and a bearish MACD crossover. They must happen in the last two candles before the position is opened and uh, um, they must happen in the both of them, not only one. But let me show you some examples so you can understand better what I'm saying. So let's see some trades. Let's start with a long one. As you can see, a position was opened here. As you can see, I wrote... Uh, I this, I draw them, these two circles and they are indicating uh, the two bullish crossover I was looking for. One is on the MACD, so the blue line is, or sorry, on the stochastic, so the blue line must go above the red line. So you go here, you go here and you search stochastic, is this one. And uh, the other is on the MACD, the blue line must go above the red line. So you go here and you search for MACD. The settings are the default one if you want to see i have changed here to 70 and 30 because i'm checking for the crossover here below uh, 30 for the buy and above 70 for the sell. for example this one was a bearish crossover and for the macd you have to check that the blue lines goes above the red line for a bullish crossover and the settings are are the default one for bearish, the blue line must go below the red line. But don't worry, I will show you some examples. So I set the stop loss to the last low. So this one of this candle and um, a risk to roll ratio of one to one. And as you can see, it was a success. Let me show you another example. So here, as you can see, there is the bullish crossover in the stochastic, the bullish crossover in the MACD and uh, we can open the position um, at the last close basically and setting your stop loss to the low of the last candle and as you can see with a risk to reward ratio of one this trade was a success and it was closed immediately in the candle after it was opened so let's see a short uh, trade so it was here it was difficult to see but it's correct because my software told me here there were there was a bearish crossover in the stochastic here there were there was a bearish crossover in the macd so you can open your position at the last close setting your stop loss to the last high so this one risk to ratio one to one 
and as you can see it was a success. Three successes in a row. This strategy seems to, to be really profitable with only uh, by only making some conditions to the strategy and making it less restrictive. Let's see how it performed on the train data set. As you can see it performs not so good Definitely better than before because before we had 48, now 49, and we have also the double of the trades, so we can make a better statistical analysis. Although the strategy is not probably the best one of the best, checking for the MACD and stochastic crossover in the same in the candle before in the same candle or in the candle below probably is not uh, a best approach, uh, the best approach uh, on the Thorax 30 minute on these symbols. Yeah, these results are not so astonishing basically. And uh, yeah, but we have like 200 trades, uh, maybe we can make uh, some statistical analysis on it and make it uh, profitable. Yes, we can make it more profitable. So. I have already downloaded all the trades and the first thing I found is that there, wa there was no difference in the number of trades for buy and for sell and the average success rate for buy and sell it's almost the same so that's good because uh, we you can uh, use this strategy both on buy and both on sell there is not a big difference and also because we have a, a high number of trades and this uh, it's I'm not saying it's correct to it's correct that it's happening, but with an high number of trades, the average success rate in buy and sell are much are more similar. And uh, for today's video, I decided uh, to improve the strategy by check ch checking in the last candles uh, that the difference in the module. So. Um, if the difference is negative, you can you take the positive value. It's positive. You take also the positive value. So the closes the close minus the open must be below the ATR fourteen multiplied by one point five of the last candle. So basically, what I'm saying is, uh, you go here, you search for ATR. This is this indicator. Uh, it gives you a value like uh, zero point zero five you multiply it for 1.5 and you have to check that the difference between close and open is lower than this value and the ATR must be of the last candle. So uh, I added this, um, this uh, condition and uh, what I found, I have found that if you have checked for these conditions uh, in the last 35 candles the new average success rate would have been 53 and the same things uh, was noticed uh, for sell with a 52 so this strategy may perform better now but we have also to take into consideration that now some trades are not opened and some uh, will be opened because they were can there were only one there was one trade for symbol at time so now by uh, filtering some of them new trades uh, can be opened so the average success rate can be greater or lower depending on uh, how bad how good or bad is performing this criteria so um, I, as you can see I, I already wrote the conditions so I making the module of the difference between close and open and check, check, checking it is lower than last year multiplied by 1.5 and also for buy it's the same condition so as you can see here and then checking in the last 35 candle and for all of them these conditions must be matched i have already uh, i have already run the strategy and as you can see now we are pro in profit with an average success rate of 50. it's not uh, uh, as good as we predicted because it was 52 but new positions were opened the number of trades is quite high but uh, it almost break even basically this strategy doesn't perform very well so um, as you can see also it's not uh, statistically profitable so not good trading strategy these conditions are not so good and definitely uh, this strategy is n doesn't have a 90% win rate uh, because uh, by checking uh, only some of these conditions and and uh, taking uh, making some improvements uh, we are not uh, mm, 
quite even uh, near to the average success rate it told so pre basically the strategy is not as good as he claimed so uh, as you can see now we have 50 percent but now let's run the strategy on the test data set and let's see how it performs let's see if our confidence interval is respected or not okay as you can see 51 as an average success rate on the test data set it's higher than before it's still in the confidence interval so uh, we have not overfit in this overfitted the strategy but definitely we have not made uh, a really good and profitable strategy today but that's happening that's uh, that's happens because uh, when you take into consideration uh, strategies like that where the people who wrote this um, they didn't uh, try the, them uh, it's normal to see these results and probably it's quite uh, disappointing uh, some, uh, uh, for some of you because you think ah I will be rich in just a few months and then this, this, this happens and that's it but uh, before I end the video, I remember you that uh, these are not financial advices. I'm not a financial advisor and uh, this video was only for entertainment purpose. I'm not responsible of any use of this strategy and uh, I remember you that trading is very dangerous. So pay attention. But if you enjoyed this video and this content, I remind you to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.